Machete Short Movie Review. Machete, played by Danny Trejo, is a former federale, a Mexican cop, and he is hired to assassinate a senator, a immigrant-hating Robert De Niro. But it doesn't go quite as planned, and suddenly people are hunting down Machete. And he needs to get the people gunning for him, as well as get some much-deserved vengeance on, among others, a drug lord played by Steven Seagal, who can basically pass for Mexican. This is a bloody, violent, brutal, <laughs> gratuitously sexual and, you know, gratuitously, you know, nude scenes action flake and it's very much a tribute to 70s and 80s exploitation flakes, you know, action flakes, excuse me, and yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun, as long as you don't expect it to completely make sense, or for it to really, you know, for there to be that much payoff, it basically is just, you know, you're watching stuff explode and people get their limbs cut off by Machete, who does, of course, use a machete. The characters are you know, basically interesting on paper, but there's hardly a good actor to be found in this. I guess Robert De Niro. So, you know, the, the acting is definitely not, you know, that impressive. Well, the, the Don Johnson is okay as well. And the... You know, Danny Trejo, I'm not sure he's starred in anything else. I'm pretty sure he's... I've, everything else I've seen him in, he's been a side character. And he's great as a side character. He doesn't have the charisma to really, you know, carry a whole movie by himself. There are a lot of characters in this, but, you know, in spite of the fact that you don't really care about them, and the fact that they... I don't have that good acting, all but maybe particularly, at least it's ratio of how much she is in it to how bad she is compared to some of the others. But yeah, you know, they're, they're not annoying and it actually is, for being basically as overwritten a flick as Once Upon a Time in Mexico, it's much less straining to watch. In fact, I guess it, it isn't really straining to watch at all. It is fun, just not quite as fun as Rodriguez intended. And, yeah, you know, I, I could watch it again, though I'm not sure I'd really recommend, you know, it's, it's one you watch just once, and that, I'd say that's pretty much enough for anyone. But yeah, it's, it's much easier to follow than Once Upon a Time in Mexico. And the action is cut much better. There's more sort of breathing room. And in spite of how action-packed it is, and it is quite intense with, you know, it actually does, yeah, allow us to sort of take in. I mean, it's, it's fairly tight. You know, you really don't want to, you know, look away at any point or you'll, you might miss something important. But, yeah, you know, you can follow it nicely enough. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.